Hey everybody, it's Derek Floyd here, Beautiful Now Podcast. Let's get ready to wrap up this incredible series of how to maximize your day with a real quick recap of all the first three points, which are, of course, time management and productivity is really most important when you're doing a narrow focus, when you're intense on focus. The next thing would be you have to have the discipline to help yourself focus, to say no to things that are not really on your focus plan. Number three, you got to stay consistent. If you fall off or trail off or don't stay on task, you won't ever complete the mission. You won't ever maximize what you're looking for or trying to get to the success that you know you can do. So with all those three things in place, if you've done all those and you still are exhausted at the end of the day, maybe there's one last thing you're missing. And that's what we're going to talk about today on Life Facts. Join me on the other side. We'll check it out. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Life Hacks. Hacking the code to a beautiful life, one video at a time. Now, we have really gone the distance over these last few weeks talking about how to maximize your day. Now, all these principles can actually be applied to how to maximize your week, your month, even how to maximize your life, so to speak. Because, of course, we talked about time and productivity really being better if you're focused, not just being so broad. So focus was number one. Then we said, number two, you had to be disciplined enough to be able to stay focused, saying no to things, being able to zero in on what you really want to do and get accomplished with maximum impact. Then we said, number three, you had to be consistent, keep going, not give up to ever reach the success you're always looking for. But today's life hack is number four, and it's the fourth part of the series and the final note. And that is you've got to maximize your energy. Now that sounds kind of lofty or ooh, ooh, but think of this. If you put too much energy into the wrong thing and then you get to the last thing that you have to do for it that's most important, then you don't have enough juice to get it done. So you've got to maximize or kind of manage your energy through the day to make sure you're pouring it into what's most important. A lot of us are different time people. So I'm a morning person, so I know my energy needs to flow in the morning. I pour a lot of what I got to do that's first and most important to me in the morning. Because in the afternoon or the evening, my energy starts to wane. So I know I can't put anything important down there. But what if you're the person that has to get things at night? Well, move your energy level to things at night. Make sure things that you really have to get done, you put them later in the day. Even more importantly, take care of your body. Take care of your rest. you got to get up and have enough stamina to do all the things you need to do to maximize your day. So if you're not eating properly, not drinking enough water, not taking care of yourself, you can't expect yourself to do better every day if you're not taking care of your physical body. So energy requires you being paying attention to what your body does well, how you respond, how you're good at certain things at certain times of the day. Move your energy around and make sure you're using it in the right place for the right thing at the right time. Managing your energy every day will actually help you maximize your day because you'll know how effective you are, when you are, what you are, and what you do through the day. Energy, guys. Let's do it. I hope that helps one today. I hope this series has helped you put a little different spin on how to maximize your day, how to maximize your life. And if you do me a favor, share it with a friend because I want to make sure everybody leaves here uplifted encouraged, and inspired. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you're maximizing your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.